Five seconds out. Hey, how you guys doing? I uh, hope you enjoyed that intro clip. I had a nice little predator. Could have been a triple maybe, but then uh, got that airstrike on village and uh, finally got the title cluster bomb, which is five kills with uh, with the airstrike. So that was really cool. That was in ground war, so uh, it could be a little bit tougher in 6v6, but uh, yeah, that was uh, the precision airstrikes really underrated. So. I've been having a lot of fun using uh, like Predator, Precision Airstrike, and then Reaper in Ground War. It's like a, a really lethal combination if you if you know how to place your airstrikes. But um, yeah, this gameplay here is uh, just me get, getting a super clutch Moab in uh, uh, free for all, and uh, I'm playing on Resistance here, and I decided to use an assault rifle. And usually in free for all, I like to run like the MP7 or other SMGs. But um, since Resistance has a little bit longer lines of sight, I decided to switch it up and it paid off. Um, the, when I joined in, the guy was at 11 kills, and um, you'll see coming towards the end, uh, it, it got pretty crazy. But for today's video, I just kind of wanted to talk about uh, the possibility of Modern Warfare 3 remastered. Uh, I know a lot of people are talking about MW4 and uh, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, but there's also been a little bit of uh, speculation about MW3 Remastered. So, um, if MW3 Remastered were to come out, um, I've kind of got a wish list that I've put together, and uh, I'll, I might leave a few things out or forget them while I'm talking here, but um, in general, these are the things that uh, me as a MW3 player in 2019, I would really like to see fixed. Um, if some of these things that I'm talking about did get implemented, maybe MW3 Remastered wouldn't be the right name. Maybe they'd have to call it uh, Modern Warfare 3 Reimagined. But um, so kind of going into the list of of those things, uh, I think that the stun grenades and um, the concussions they're really good, um, and they're they're great to use with like recon and stuff. But I only think that you should have one. And uh, I think that would like limit a lot of the spam, especially like in game modes like Brown War and Domination and stuff like that. Um, just getting spammed and hit over and over with stun grenades, it gets old. Um, and that would put it right in line with e EMP grenades um, and maybe make EMP, EMP grenades more viable because EMP grenades only, only have one. Um, on a similar note, I would take the small, the SMAW launcher, completely out of the game. And that might make some of you a little upset because the small is super good. But um, I think that the small can is a little bit more of a newbie weapon, um, it, and it just gets spammed way too much. I would, however, keep the RPG in, uh, and that's unlocked at like level 78 maybe. Um, but yeah, I, w I would change the rocket count from two to just one starting. So, um, moving right along with the support package, I would move the EMP, Remote Sentry, and the Stealth Bomber, all three of those over into the Assault package. And then I would make uh, all of the other support killstreaks uh, have to be, like, all in a row. And they could stack up and stuff, but... Um, if you're if if you can get like a <laughs> escort airdrop or a support juggernaut just by getting 18 kills in a game, I don't think that's that's fair. I think uh, maybe lower the the top tiers to like 14 kills maybe or even even like 13 or 12, but make those kills in a row. And then um, oh man, I'm kind of running out of time. This this game got crazy here at the end. You can see he only needs one more kill to win, and I am so close. But um, I I would also buff up uh, some of the assault streaks. I would make the uh, attack chopper and the pavlo uh, more aggressive, like the the AI more aggressive, and uh, shoot at people who have stingers out. And boom, I pick up the mob right there. But um, you know, outside of these things, I think that MW3 is a really great game. I'm still having a blast with it in my, uh, 2019. And I hope to see a remaster, and uh, hopefully 
uh, they get a little bit creative and make the game better, but it's such a great game. Unfortunately, I didn't get the win here. Uh, the guy got the kill before my Moab could go off, but uh, still pretty clutch Moab. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.